Good evening, everybody, and welcome to episode 97 of Talina at uh, my time at Porsche. We are heading over to, uh, well, what we're doing is we're, we're trying to do a bit of a speed run to see how many things Talina can get done before the final post endgame edition is uh, released. Not edition, um, post endgame material is released by Pathia. And. Uh, Looking forward to seeing what they come up with. Mama. Yeah, hey kiddo, how you doing? So that's coming out on the 20th, and uh, it is now the second in Australia, so we've got between 18 and 19 days, and I've completely lost the plot. All right, kiddo, have a dragon, don't bite the tail off this one. Yeah, I know, right? Gosh, all right, I'll leave her to get up to mischief. Pinkster. And Popster, how you doing? Yeah, you think? Alrighty, kitty, let's not give you an apple today. Here, here you go. I know, right? Did I talk to you before we did this? Yes, I did. Okay. I would give you pats, but you don't like pats or cuddles because you are a big evil kitty. And you're not getting pats or cuddles because you washed my face last time and that was gross. I know, right? Oh, okay. Talk to me tomorrow morning, you might convince me. Okay, Total Tools is where Mars makes his living. And you can upgrade important items and purchase weapons and tools from there. Actually, the only thing you really need from Total Tools are the upgrade boxes. Alright, we were making blenders. And I'd finally gotten over making the wrong kind of... <laughs> wrong kind of saw. You do not put grinding saws in blenders. You put grinding blades in blenders. What is wrong with me? Guys, we've been through this before. Already very happily with another guy. Hey, Mr. Ack, how you doing? Hey! Mr. Django showed me around his restaurant. Uh -huh. The menu was exquisite. And I have a pot so you can try stuff out. Also looks like it's that time of year again and you need me to pay you. Hang on, don't go anywhere. Ah, oh, thanks, Mr. Ack. Come back here. All right. Hi, Mr. Ack again. Excellent. He will go and do more bits and bobs around the farm. Pinky, that is how you pay Mr. Ack when you need him to work for you. Um, why am I running? Because I know why. Because last night I ended up playing my, my early game character who does not own a piggy. And thus I have completely forgotten. Oh, there's Mint. Gee, he's good. He helps me out every morning. So I've completely forgotten that I actually do have a piggy and that I can, whoops, can use it. Oh, and I should probably register for that. Hey, Doc. How you doing? Hello. I have your commerce commission. Yep, you're welcome. I should probably register for that. I don't remember doing it. Whoops. Yep, go and fly into the side of the wall. That's always good for the piggy. Let's make sure we're registered for this year. Yes, please. Ooh, okay. Awesome. Okay. We do need to get a commerce commission. We also need to go say hi to Papa Bear. And then we need to go see if our theory about oaks being found on the other side of the uh, bridge in the morning is anywhere near sound. I thought I saw Papa Bear... Okay, maybe that was me hunting with optimism. Alrighty, he's around here somewhere. I mean, how hard can he be? He's like seven feet tall. I'm built like a, uh, a large brick shed. Hey, Papa Bear. Now, do I actually remember to replenish the honey or am I completely out again? Oop, doesn't look good. For, oh no, there we go. Phew. Ah, you're welcome, Papa Bear. I thought I was going to be in trouble for false promises to the bear there for a minute. All right, let's go and find Oaks and uh, provide him with breakfast. It is pretty early, though. He might still be in town. Oh, there he is. All right, we are getting better at this game. Hello. Hey, how you doing? You should try the apples growing around Porsche sometimes. I know, right? Only Toby seems to know the truth on them. Meanwhile, I brought you a uh, roast wow, meat. thank you for thinking about me. You're very welcome. 
Alrighty. I suppose we can go and give um what's his name? It's not Lua, Chiwa. Hey! A fish. I caught a huge one the other day. Uh-huh. Pinky tells me this all the time, and do you know what? I think you need a fishy. How thoughtful of you! I really like it! You're very welcome. I still haven't worked out what his brother like. Oh, I thought it was um, oh. the bluefish. Hey, Luckily, mate. my bros really supported me by dropping off food and teaching me how to fish. I was thinking of moving to Sandrock, but I didn't want to leave my bros behind. I'm not quite sure what uh, what Young Oaks is doing back there, but that that was a bit worrying. Alrighty, let's uh, let's try a bluefish to go with his blue shorts. Nope. He uh, yes. All right. Next time, I'll try and choose you a better fish. I'm very sorry. One of them liked the bluefish, and I can't remember which one it was. Okay. Let's uh, toddle this way. All right, so I cleared the crystal out of this area. And I think I saw some grow back over here. Never let a chance go by when it comes to crystal. Oh, really? Try again. And we'll just duck around the back and see if any has grown around here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and maybe if that one's there, there'll be one around this corner. Possibly. Or did we blow that one up already? We might have, yeah. Alrighty, so that's, um, that's our morning say hello to Oaks. Oh, I think I have bubble fish on me, right? No, I don't. Okay. Well, we won't we won't bother our toady with his not so favorite fish. Okay. We need to get a commerce commission. We've said hello. Oh, we also need to train the llamas, that's right. How to tame your llama. Let's go do that while we're here. Hello, Frosty. How you doing? Would you like a pat? You would. I had a theory on why one of my llamas was happier than the other the other day, and I think it could be because when you when you go to catch these big white fluffy dudes, they um you feed them aroma apples, and I'm just trying to remember what it is um, that you normally feed these little fluffy dudes because I'm thinking. Um, the little fluffy dude probably will be happier if I feed it his favorite food. Uh, really? Okay. So let's have a quick look at the feed in the stable. Alright, so it's got lettuce. Let's add a few aroma apples as well. Mint has been here, hasn't he? He's a good man, but I don't think he's paying much attention to what the llamas want. Okay. So my theory was we should put some lettuce in the trough to see if the um, little pink fluffy llama dude would prefer that. So you right click, you see look, Floss is just not impressed with the world or life. At least she's not grumpy. Or well, he's not grumpy, it's hard to tell. Okay, whereas Frosty is very chill. So, uh, let's, let's train Floss. I'm just going to try and get Floss all the way up to her max, his, her, there, there you go. Floss up to their maximum speed until someone tells me otherwise. We'll call Floss a there. There we go. Alright, so Floss is learning how to become a speedy llama, which possibly involves making me seasick in the shortest amount of time possible when I ride him. Um, there we go. Oh man, Talina. Just because the llama bounces does not mean you have to ride sideways on the piggy. Okay. So we are going to go and... Did I remember the reasons for Antoine? Huh, that'd be a no. Oops, sorry Antoine. Alrighty. Petra or Farmer McD. I have the best gifts for McDonald. So let's, uh, let's go make Petra... I know, actually, I should have been probably paying more attention to Merlin. Oh. When you're kind of at this stage of the game uh, and you're just trying to fill in your friendship requests, you're probably not after a lot of extra profit. 
because I mean we're already well we're not that far ahead of Higgins are we okay maybe maybe the points is worth it I know I'll make up my mind eventually just don't ask me to do it today or, or even tomorrow tomorrow might be too soon it's um it's been a good day well it's been a long day I finally got my uh, my 6,000 words done so they're not waiting for me to finish the factory is at the front with this farmer that's right uh, they're not waiting for me to finish after I finish here so that's pretty good I can chill just a little bit and try and uh, and try and get this done there we go so we'll sort everything in here and we're looking for wooden pillars. I should have some I made earlier, but I may be running out, so we might have to go get some poplar wood. And I'm completely ignoring this stuff, the other stuff I'm running out on. There we go. Alright, let's just have a quick looky see in here. So titanium we're low on. Okay, we're out of. Rat bandages. sure I beat up some big pink birdies not very long ago we'll just see if I've left that in my um what do you call it my backpack so we're out of topaz again that's not a surprise I keep forgetting we're out of poplar wood we're out of rubber fruit I probably need to go on a tree chopping spree I definitely need to go on a tree chopping spree how many have I got in stock 28 okay we don't need to tree chop just yet we need to think about it though that's kind of a bit pitiful and that's our bloodstone radio so blood it's basically it's all the little items that you don't get out of the mines uh, and I was just going to see if I had any bird fat left on me Maybe that was the other character I did that with. Alrighty, that's probably what it is. Let's just go uh, stick our fishing rod where it should be and check our backpack for space. I need to sell some fish. That's enough space to go mining with, just. If we don't find too many relics. We'll see. I mean, relics is what we're looking for. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm only after four now for Abandoned Ruins too. Then we can get into the Desert Ruins. I'm a bit excited for that because I haven't got all of them yet. So these, these are ready to put together and donate. All right. Performance Center Model Piece 2. Goddess 1 and 2. Cat Maid 2. Okay, we've got this. If I can just remember to ride the peak properly. See, the reason I wasn't worried too much about Mr. McD is we've discovered that the man likes buckets. And uh, if you're looking to build up your friendship with Mr. McD, Hello. so you can do, do you want missions. my signature? I'll be famous one day. Uh huh. I have a bucket you can sign. You should probably have a big collection. Thank you of so much. I really like it. You're welcome. So that's that's one of the handiest gifts. For helping Mr. McD, uh, for building your friendship with Mr. McD. Whoa, Emily, where's Grammy, Granny Sophie? Hello. An order of fruit salad. Let me think about that. Uh, in the meantime, I have some pumpkin pie. It's much better for you. It smells too good to eat. Actually, that might not be true. Did I just tell that nice lady a lie? Probably. Is pumpkin pie better for you than fruit salad? Hmm. Oh, Grandma Sophie, how are you feeling today? Hello. My back aches from time to time. Is... But Dr. Zhu always has a remedy ready for me. Is that why Emily's out there feeding the chickens? I'm not sure I should give you this bucket. It's pretty heavy. Oh, thank you so much. I really like it. You're very welcome. All right, what are our worms like? Worms, where are we? Oh, there's my fruit and there's some sap. I should stick those in the factory. All right, we have 950 worms. We do not need any more worms, but 
we do need fish food. I think. I'll just try not to run Granny Sophie over with my drill. Alright, so let me just do one more check. Yeah. Alright, so we definitely need more fish food. Let's grab a little bit of that. That'll keep us busy for a bit. I'm not sure what our fertilizer situation is like, so I guess... I know, it burns. Let's grab some more of that too. Um, we'll, we'll pop those in the in the box where the boys can take care of it. So basically, if you um, if you keep your your stocks where the guys can find it, where your helpers can get a hold of them, you can. See, I've also got to finish my garden. I think I have enough tree seeds. Maybe I actually don't have any. I have apricots. I don't have any more apple seeds. I don't have any more cristellas. But I need a ton more of these things, and maybe one or two more of those. So we might. Because we can only buy a certain amount of these up at the church. What are our discs? Okay, our discs are good. Let's um, let's start building up some matting, and we might do up our property. Kind of while we're at it, what was I meant to be doing? I know I got waffling. Completely forgot. Alrighty, we were dumping our fertilizer in the box. <laughs> oh, I see. We didn't really need fertilizer. Okay. Yep. I'm going now. Alrighty, that's um, man, call me forgetful, you'd be absolutely right. And I don't quite get the lift right on the, uh, the pig when I'm coming up the stairs. That's right, I'll launch it off the side of the building in a minute, we'll be good. Here we go. Oh, really? It's that late already? Oh my god, tell me I didn't have a date. I know, right? Worst, worst date person ever. No, but it is Gust's birthday. I should probably do something about that. And I should probably go find Petra. All right, fine. Let's go launch the piggy off the side of the building. This time of night, uh, Petra is usually whoops, um, heading over to the bakery or somewhere, but she might have gone. Oh no, she's gone back home. Oh no, there she is. Hello. Hey, how you doing? You're welcome. You know what? We might as well give her a disc while we're at it. I'm out of robots. Thank you. This. You're welcome. Uh, Merlin, I was not ignoring you. Um. I did see you say hi. Oh, oh man, but if you're going to be like that, I won't say hello again. Thanks. This looks nice. You're welcome. Go find something cheery on it about the church. Okay. Commerce Commission is good. Do we have a dagger for Miss Lucy? Oh, we do. Let's give Miss Lucy a dagger. She is Even way... though Portia is a small town, the kids here are just as curious about the world as anywhere else. They are indeed. Yeah, she gets way too excited about these things. It really is a nice present. Thank you. You're welcome. Small town teacher. Now, the other person we wanted to go find was Gust. Oh, and I wanted to check the price of fish. Hmm. It's maybe improving. It's just got to go up another 3%. Wait, I was going inside to see Gust. I knew that. And I had to buy baby formula. I'm trying to make it a habit to do that every morning, but I tend to forget. Uh, here we go. I don't see Gust anywhere. He might be out walking with Miss Ginger, actually. We might have to go hunt for him. Let's, uh, let's grab one of these. 
and we'll grab one of those. If I want to get two a day, I need to actually do some shooting and earn some badges. Um, that's okay. I don't need it that badly. Let's uh, talk to Mr. Jango. Hello. How you doing? Stop by the bar at night to hear some scary summer ghost stories. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Actually, I think the ghost the ghost achievement is is one of the few I haven't gotten because my very good friends in Porsche tend to shoot me in the back of the head every time I get a lead oh, on them with badges. This is something special, my friend. So, they get from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> so I haven't been able to um, to gather the badges that I need because because even the sweetest people like um, Sonia have have got a mean aim on them. All right. Bamboo papaya, meat, or a chili pepper. Well, let's, let's, I don't know, let's go with number one here. I mean, surely, surely there's a new dish in that head somewhere. Yeah. Bubble fish soup. Mr. Django, that's just rude. I don't know how many variations of bubble fish soup he sold me so far, but he sold me a few. Alrighty, what was I doing? It was even maybe possibly important. Um, I don't know. Let's go and uh, grab some... Let's go treasure hunting while we still have a chance. I know where Gust is. Oh god, I'm dopey. This is the character that married Gust. This is not the character... No, wait, no, this is the character that married Mint. No, I'm not that dopey. Okay. It's... Did I say it has been a long day? All right, I don't want to pay 300 gold for a pass into the abandoned ruins, but I'm going to. Alrighty. So I think we're going to have our martial arts tournament soon. Wait a minute. This is the character that married Mint. Oh, man. Which means we're waiting to adopt. Which means I need to get my tail home so that the adoption process doesn't get held up. I knew this. Alright, so we're going to have an early night. I know, this is going to drive me as... Darling, let's go... Didn't you hear about the whole... Darling. How you doing? Darling. Sometimes I wake up thinking this is all a dream. But then I see you, and I remember how lucky I am to have met you. This guy gets the best lines. That's wonderful, Mint. I'm glad to have married you too. Look, I forgot to give you breakfast. Darling. You're welcome. Alrighty. Hello, Skidly. Come on, time you went to bed. <laughs> that is just such an abrupt throw the baby in the basket but uh, she's she's pretty content there we go okay so we're waiting for an adoption which means we have to be home and I really should do something about decorating this house it's one of the things I'm worst at with this game it's like wait there's a house to decorate but no I have treasure to find oh my lord let's go Alright, so if we're, no, even if we're quick, we probably won't be quick enough to get to the martial art tournament. Hello, Skidoo. How you doing? Yeah? Alright, so, Mama. yeah? So yesterday, kiddo, I gave you a dragon to play with. Today, you can have a ducky. Yeah, I know, right? There you go. Alright, poppers, how you doing? I see. I know, I've got to move my tail or it'll be late. That would be bad. Roma apple, yep. And there you are, Pinky. Now, Pinky, you're not supposed to come into the tournament ring with me. That's just apparently I'm not allowed to have the cat help me out. No, it's not allowed. Alrighty, oops, where did Mint go? Usually on tournament days, your, your husband will nick off. Um... And just head down to the tournament. 
Same with fishing days, actually. I've noticed they run away on those too. It's not because we're particularly scary. It's just because there's more important things afoot, I suppose. Alrighty. Let's go. I know, one hour. Actually, I probably do have time to to get a um, commission. Do, 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 do. Let's grab a commission while we can. Tournament doesn't start till 9, but I better get my tail down there because we'll be needed in the ring very shortly. Uh, look, it's pretty and yellow. We'll have that one. What a world, no worries. We can do that overnight. If we're late, we forfeit our round, and I'll be very sad if that happens. And we might not get time to bet on ourselves. We should always bet on ourselves. Oh man, build a lands in tree gets gets too stuck to uh, to take part in tournament. Alrighty, Django and Sanwa. Uh, let's go with that. Oh no, Russo. Oh, he'll give me a run for my money. Bet on Arlo. Oh man, do you mean I get to fight my, my nemesis and not get in trouble for it? That's pretty cool. Alright, so it looks like we're not needed. Until 2 o'clock. However, while we're here, let's make the most of um, the gifting time that we've got. Alrighty. Being bad boom. Woohoo! See, plus 10 for oaks. Awesome. Well, that was coming eventually. See, I told you he'd be Darling. down here. He left me behind. Me. <laughs> Oh, no, I, or Russo, actually. Russo's a good run. Uh, Remy, do I have any belts on me? I do. Let's go give Remy some belts. Ah, a belt. The key to martial arts is to combine your body with your spirit. Uh -huh. Find that zen. Okay. You can zen with the belt. I here. like it. You're very nice. Uh, no, no, I am not. Phyllis, how you doing? Hey. Jump don't you. overstress yourself. If you think you're losing, just <laughs> drop the fight and don't get hurt. I, I have no idea what to say to that. Have it really a is a nice present. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, do I have any of Sam's bags on me? No. Oh, no. Yes, I do. All right, kid. Hey, Sam. Hello. How are you doing? Hey, kid. Gotta watch your back today. I won't be out there coming to your rescue. That's okay, Sam. I can take care of myself, sort How of. How thoughtful of you. I really like it. You're welcome. Oaks, hey, Hi. Doing? Honey and fruits are Papa Bear's favorites. I should gather more before I head back. Okay, well, I got you covered for the honey, so you can go get the fruit. Uh, no, you know what I don't got you covered for, though, kiddo? I have not got him covered for his roast meat. I forgot to look for it. Oh, no. And I can't run. Actually, I could run and get it now. All right, so. I also haven't made any sunnies. Albert, not that you need any encouragement. Hi. How are you doing? I spent all day building the set. What do you think? I reckon you've done a pretty spectacular job. And you deserve a plant. Thank you. Never expected you to give me this. Okay, Emily, Hello. got your breakfast. Forgot your fruit salad. I know, eventually I'll get my head together enough to remember what people want. Uh, where are your pies? There we are. How thoughtful of you. I really like it. You're welcome. Uh, May, excellent. Hey. hey, May, how you doing? I'm ready to interview the winner at any time. All right, well, um, Mr. Jango's up first, I think, with Senwa. <laughs> I can see the headline now. Makes this the best holiday ever. You're uh, welcome. Okay. Oh man, I forgot to get Antoine's. Is 
it's always hard to work out whether or not Django is going to um, not fight to his best Toby ability. Toby loves this event. He kept telling me about how he'll get number one someday. <laughs> That's awesome. I have your feather duster. Thank you. Never Ooh. expected you to give me this. You're welcome. All right. Well, she's happy. Petra, I only have a disc Hi. for you. How are you doing? I'm not too interested in this tournament. I'd rather just read a book or something. Ah, well, guess what? Here, have this. I like this gift. Thanks. You're welcome. And Alice? Hey. How are you doing? Seeing the tournament really gets my adrenaline pumping. Uh-huh. It should give you some good fodder for your stories. Here, have this. You're welcome. Chiwa. Hey. How are you doing? Last year's tournament was super exciting. I won't miss this year's. I can see that. You can have an Emperor Whitefish. How thoughtful of you! Whoa. I really like it! So I can see. Mr. Russo, how are you doing? Oh, this just reminds me of the time when I was in the core. We'd spar for fun all the time. You were in the core, huh? Which, which unit? Uh, I'm after a coffee table. There we go. I like it. You're very nice. Well, that explains why he likes coffee so much, I guess. Dr. Zhu, how are you doing? Well, it's better to fight here than in some random ruins. Oh, I don't know. Doc each has its charm. Thank you. This is great. You're welcome. Alrighty, now. Carol is a music box, and I think I'm out of those. And I do have plenty of those, though, so let's, um... Let's go to Sonia. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, well, I think I can win the first round at least. I'm not so sure about what's going to happen if I get put up against um, Russo. It's always nice to get your favorite thing while on holiday. Uh huh. You think? Or so oh, I can fix you up on that now. Nora, I haven't worked out yet. Although she does Hi. like these flowers. Spaghetti with hot sauce. I don't think I've got any on me. No. All right, well, I will just give her flowers then. Where are they? There they are. Thank you very much. You're welcome. The, uh, the day I ran around giving everyone wild flowers was hey, possibly a really bad our idea. settlers had tournaments because they needed to keep up their skills. Even though it's more peaceful nowadays, we still need to keep our skills sharp. Oh, I love this mayor. He is awesome. All right, and I have a tea table because it's not all fighting. Thank you. Never expected you to give me this. You're welcome. Okay. Mr. McD, how are you doing? I've been predicting the winner for years, but I just can't guess right. <laughs> That's okay. You can never go wrong with a bucket. It really is a nice present. You're welcome. Alrighty. Ghost Hayden. Um, they have an even bigger tournament for martial arts in Atara each year. I uh hope -huh. I don't see you entering. Why not? You've chosen wisely this time. Uh huh. Ha, oh, Ginger. Hey. I never get Ginger right. You're going to be fighting, right? I'll cheer you on. Hey, thank you. Ah, uh, well, in that case, you can have some flowers. There you go. I really love this. Thank you so much. But you really don't have to spend so much time preparing gifts. I'd rather you come see me more. All right, I'll try. Okay. So we've done the gifting thing. All right. Oh my gosh, it's Russo and Remington. Poor Remy, he's going to get pasted. That's okay. Alright, well while they're doing that, I think what we might do is take out some of those, um, those little crafting needs that we had. So we had, we had a need for tree sap. I know, I'm about to take down the trees everyone's standing under. That's a bit mean, isn't it? Oops. So we needed some tree sap. 
We also needed some topaz. And we needed some... Alright, I'll just try not to chop the one down that Gust and his sister are under. Actually, it's an apple tree, so they're pretty safe. I can chop all the other ones down. So I couldn't hurt that one even if I wanted to, and I don't, because that would be mean. Nearly there. I know the tournament's really slowing down my ability to, um, to go mining, but uh, that's okay. I mean, I could just ignore it, but it only happens once a year. You don't get a lot out of these lower rocks, but some of the bigger ones you'll get your topaz and your bloodstone out of. The trick is not to just go too far. Okay, 13.33. It's nearly time for our tournament, so we might just jog back. If I was smart, I should have headed back home and grabbed the, um, the water well. Okay, so half past two is Arlo and Albert. Five o'clock is us. We do have time to go set that water well going. Let's, um, I'll be back in a minute. I know, I'm worse than Higgins. He at least is just stopping and watching the uh, the match. water well wasn't it all right how many of these can whoa well we're not building 30 I don't know let's build 10 we can always sell them and I just need two that's gonna take a bit though I might head back to the, uh, the stamping grounds and we'll get oops where'd the pig go there it is Russo is a very mean fighter. Alright, you can view the bracket on the drum beside me. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You know, if I fly the pig to the top... It's 15.38. Alright, so if I fly the pig up to these rocks up here. I should be able to take a few of them out before it's time for my turn. Okay, 16, oops. 1600, 1607. Alright, let's head back. And possibly put my drill away because that can't be too good. Okay, here we go. In a minute. Please go on stage to prepare when the little yellow arrows happen. Alright, let's just find out where our opponent is going to stand. I think Higgins stands at the top usually. Yeah. That was a bit rough. And 
dig in. He dumps me out. Alrighty, so that is the end of that. Where'd the pig go? There it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, try and squeeze in a little bit of relic hunting after we've checked the price of fish. We should probably give Miss Lucy her dagger. Hey, Miss Hello. Lucy, how you doing? I've been predicting the winner for years, but I just can't guess right. That's okay. Practice makes for great frustration, I guess. Here you go. I have no dagger for you today. Fine, you can have one of these. How thoughtful of you. I really like it. You're welcome. Oops, let's try not to run Gust over. Excellent. Okay, now is the time to sell fish. Let's, uh, let's go with one of those. Actually, it's probably going to be better prices tomorrow, but um, I usually run out of things to sell. It's just upset Pinky. Okay. That will do. Alright, so we're going to head back home at about 8 o'clock. I know, it'd be quicker to run up the hill when the pig gets stuck like that. And in we go. Alrighty. Alright, so I haven't had a lot of luck anywhere so far. This is my parts box and I think it's got a bunch of buckets. There's an owl clock piece. I know, so I'm just going to go to the furthest end of the, the mine. I'm just drill through this wall. Here we go. Because there's bound to be more over here somewhere. Aha, got his statue piece three. Okay, this looks like a really good spot to be. That is actually one of the pieces we want. Turn that off. Let's grab our M for map. Let us mark that there so we can find it tomorrow. Aha, oh, maybe we'll get some of these pieces we're after. Finally. I know, the trick is going to be stopping when we need to. Okay. So I am going to play one more day because I've been doing short days due to having to be a responsible adult to convince people to let me adopt. Um, it drives me crazy. Alright, what have I got here? Soldier, lubricant, valve, soldier, parts, racket, magic, lamp, parts, spring, spring, owl clock. Alright, well, all that excitement for nothing. That's that's fine though, this will give us a start point for next time. In the meantime though, I think we really need to get back home before they decide to delay our adoption another time. And I need to buy the baby a crib. Okay. See, it's actually, I think it's a little bit harder to gauge how you're doing with the adoption because your husband's not telling you every night, oh, you've got to be home early or please don't risk yourself if you're actually home too late. You just kind of get this update that says, no, <laughs> it's going to be a bit longer, another two weeks. Hey, how you doing? <coughs> Me. Uh, except I didn't see why well, I sure won't know. Hey, kiddo. Let me just pick you up. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to leave. And then we're going to 
cuddle the baby. Come on, kiddo. Time for bed. No. There we go. All right. Wow. He looks exhausted. Yeah, it's actually a change because Mint's not normally in bed before me when I'm going to bed early. Oh, and I don't know where my bracket is. 7.04. All right. I don't think I bought a toy for Rowan either. That's okay. Hey, Rowan. How you doing? Have some food. Yeah. And I think you need a toy to keep you occupied. Have a caterpillar. I know, right? And... Mom. Yeah? Alrighty. Be good. Do not destroy the house while I'm gone. Don't encourage Pinky and Scraps. I know, right? We have an aroma apple for you. Yep. And... Yeah, kitty. How you doing? You know what? I was an evil, evil pet owner and I sold your pink fish. I know, but you like those nearly as well. There you go. You're just lucky I didn't see them when I was looking for things to sell last night. All right. And speaking of things to sell, we have a lanternfish and a catfish king and a koi. Nope. Oh no, the martial arts tournament's about to. Well, it's going to start very, very soon. Alrighty. Price of fish. We'll sell those tonight. Oh, where'd that go? Uh, I will bother the letterbox later. There it is. We'll grab ourselves. It's Saturday. What am I doing? Alright, we are definitely not doing a... Um, I see there's there's um Mr. Isaac. He's not he's not gonna pay attention to it. Alright, uh, I'm gonna bet on Russo for that one. And I'll bet on me for that one. That's at midday. What can I get done until midday? Ah, oh, Pinky. I know this is how you place bets, alright? An important thing for a cat to know. Mr. Higgins, hmm. how you doing? This type of tournament is beneath me. Ah, oh, now Higgins, don't be such a sore loser just because I pounded you yesterday. One day we're going to be able to make friends with that man. One day. I swear I had some honey in here somewhere, Papa Bear. Oops, I think I cut down the honey tree though. No, there's no more honey in my backpack. Sorry, Papa Bear. I'm sure I had it there yesterday. Mint! Darling. Did you forget breakfast? Aha, uh -huh, I... Yes, I'm having trouble predicting the winner too. But I brought you breakfast. Darling. <laughs> You're welcome. Man, did he just stuff his breakfast in his pocket? Because I tell you, that is not where breakfast needs to go. Hi. Don't overstress yourself. Oh, you're so encouraging. Oh, man. Thank you. Never expected you to give me this. You're very welcome. She, um, don't overstress yourself. Phyllis, that's called cheating. The key to martial arts is to... Uh-huh. Thank you. It really is a nice present. Thank you. I think, I think possibly, um, Remy, the, the key to martial arts is to not fight Mr. Russo. <gasps> Hi. How you doing? Toby loves this event. He does indeed. I have a feather duster for you. Thank you. Never expected you to give me this. You're welcome. Oh boy. Now who's who's winning in this? These two. For all his knightliness. Mm. 
Whoa. See, that's just frightening to watch. And now he's level 53. Gosh, he wiped the floor with me when he was level 50. I'm in so much trouble. I won't give him his coffee table till after the match. That way it won't look like bribery. I am going to give the mayor his tea table. Hello. Though. How are you doing? Our first settlers had tournaments because they needed to keep up their skills. You're absolutely right, Mr. Mayor. And I have a tea table. Thank you so much. I really like it. You're welcome. Nervous me, never. Yeah, completely. I think I'm actually more stressed today than I have been for a while. It's a nice backdrop for a thumbnail, what do you reckon? That should work. That's different every year. Cool. Who'll be the... I don't know, Russo. I forget where he wants to stand too. I think he stands on the other side, doesn't he? Usually. He is not a man you want to be out of position for either. No, it's Arlo. That's right, I'm a match ahead of myself. is standing on my head. Backstabbing builder. <laughs> oh, that's mean. <laughs> Hi Arlo. Bye Arlo. Oops. <laughs> I should feel bad about that. Okay. I'm really tempted to bet on Russo, but I think I'll just bet on myself. <laughs> I'm probably going to get wiped, but hey, we'll do our best. I'm going to have to fight a bit smarter than last time, though. What level am I? 60. Okay. That doesn't mean I'll win. He just looks far too confident. Oh dear, brash young builder versus ex military dude with combat. I don't know, Talina, I'm not sure I like your chances here. Look, I could get Russo to stand on my head too. Uh oh. Look on the adoption certificate too. Ooh. You know, if the person wanting to adopt gets into a fight in um, even even a legal tournament, you know, this, is that good parenting skills? Means I can protect the kids, I guess. <laughs> 
Talina, don't turn your back on your opponent. What are you doing? That won't look good on the adoption certificate. Uh, now, is there a, is that the third round or the second? Oh, okay. QQ, how you doing, Pigger? Oh. I know, just ignore those people clapping, it's okay. I'm going to run away too. Hello. I know, right? We should go get Papa Bear his honey. I'm pretty sure it's in the chest somewhere. And I need to get the water wells built. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Just two, huh? Let's grab those. Let's see if we've been sticking the honey in the... Um, actually, let's go sort all. This should tell us if we picked up any relics yesterday that we didn't have. It's not looking good. I thought I didn't have a two. No, I didn't have a two. Excellent. Okay. Now we just need three pieces. So, Goddess 1 and 2, Cat Maid 2. We're going to have to see what we can do about that. Uh, right. And I was looking for honey for Papa Bear. Here we go. Ingredients. See, I knew I had more honey than I thought. And the other thing I haven't been doing really well is looking after poor little oaks. Because I'm pretty sure that boy could do with some meat. I know, I can stand there and stare at it or I can just get on with things. Nice, Ocean's Fortune is good. So whenever you make a good prediction reward, you get adequately rewarded. Okay, now where did I leave the pig? Oh, and we're going to go sell some fish. That's right. Alrighty. There's Mr. Ack. At 106%, that's not too bad. Okay, I can only sell 11 of them, so Pinky can't be too mad at me, right? Okay. Who's my commission for? Of course, Hello. Antoine. Hey, hey, Mr. Rusu. Oh, this just reminds me of the time when I was in the Corps. We'd spar for fun all the time. Aha, see? You did seem to be having far too much fun out there. Have a coffee How table. How thoughtful of you. I really like it. You're welcome. Now, where did my commission run off to? I know, I could ride him down with the pig, but by the time I landed, I'd be running after him again. Hi. Hey, how you doing? You're very welcome. Okay, how much space have I got in my pack? It's not a lot of space. All right, I think we need to head home, unload our backpack, and then head back in. Hi. Hey, you doing, Petra? I'm not too interested in this tournament. Oh, well, speaking of books, I have for you Thanks a disc. For the gift. You're welcome. Okay, grab that. Try not to run Merlin over. I'm hopeless. 
zip onto that and okay so right let's grab these they're kind of important and let's sort all of this lot across sort everything up and just see what we've missed because i'm pretty sure we've missed a couple of things like that um hmm. all right i will put the cube bit back in that's fine i'll probably go nuts looking for it later but for now and I, now that I've got Papa Bear's honey, maybe I should find Papa Bear. And we should check and see if Oaks's um, meat thingamy, what's it has, has grown. Not produced, there we go. That's not what I meant. I know what I meant, I'm just not saying it very well at all. Honestly, I've lost my license to talk. And I forgot to train the llama for the last two days. Do. Alright, that should be oaks over there hello hey, how you doing i wish i could be as good as you oh uh, no no there are better people to be better than good as that thing is this for me mm -hmm. wow this day is amazing you're welcome okay Let's go find Papa Bear if we can. I think he's probably already inside the house, but we will just have a quick zip down this way and see if he's anywhere around. That is a pretty specky, spectacular job. All right, there's Oaks. I wonder if I can go in here. No. Can I follow Oaks in here? No. <laughs> oh man. I think I do that in pumpkin days. Just follow the person casually inside. Alrighty. So, now that we've got some space in our pack, let's go and see if we can find a couple more of these um, pesky relics that we're pursuing we we might by the 21st get the last three pieces <laughs> done um i'm hoping to actually get into the desert ruins a little bit too all right so we lucked out over here let's just put our flashy light on i swear i think there's probably some at the very bottom that i'm not seeing too so we might just let's work on that theory and uh, wow, it's just such an ocean of stuff here, isn't it? Or we can work on the theory that there's more out here that we've missed. Although I lose valuable digging time doing this. Oh, crumbs, and what time is it? All right, well, seeing as that's so close to the surface, it's really late. Let's go dig up this lamp and then I think we better head for home. Alright, M for map, E for exit. Talina's got her head screwed on the wrong way again. She needs to get home so she can uh, make this adoption happen. Apparently you can't be a businesswoman and be allowed to adopt, I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if the podlet is in bed. Or if... Hey, Mint. How you doing? Ah, uh, me. All right. Let's uh, put the drill away. Rowan, come here, you little rat. Time for you to go to bed. Much better. Yeah, I'm not tired, Mummy. No, straight to sleep. Typical kid. Alrighty, well, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye to Talina and you guys, and I'll be back in about five or ten minutes with some pumpkin days. So um, if you've enjoyed this episode, I'm really glad, and uh, hopefully, you guys will have a great week out there. I'll see you around. <laughs>